Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's going to be a kind of vlog slash talk through video style. I've done one of these two years ago and I really want to kind of replicate but show you a different way of doing things and an updated way, kind of, of how I'm currently shipping my orders for my business oh so curly. Currently I am in a smaller space before if you know me and watch my channel you will know that I had my own office room basically um, but now I have had to move so I'm in a quite small room. So within this room I have to do my pack in here which is a bit of an inconvenience but I'm going to show you guys exactly how that's working for me. Behind the camera I have a dresser and then under that dresser is where I'm putting a lot of the stock. I do have a storage space for my stock so what I do is every week I will go to the storage space and I will grab like a few items that I know I'm probably going to sell that week so I just have them on hand so it doesn't mean I have to keep going back and forth to the storage space to um get the items that people have ordered because that's just a lot of back and forth every single day and as you know I'm an influencer as well so I have to do content and other stuff if I was just doing the business I could probably do that but I do have other jobs that I do too so having to keep up with them all it's just not going to work if I have to travel to and forth from the storage space every single day. That is my personal routine. I know um, some other small business owners this might be the only thing that they do so they can afford to do a daily collection picking up posting but it's just not going to work for my lifestyle. What happens is I will get an order so I'll get the ka notification on my phone and an order will come through from a customer, thank you, who has ordered from my shop. And then what happens is I will log into my Shopify store and then I will have a look at the order. I will see what items they have ordered. It automatically updates your stock level so you don't have to worry about changing anything with that. The next step is to simply pay for the postage for that package and then update the customer with the tracking information which is so easy to do through Shopify as well. So once I have the order and I know what's in that person's order I will grab a box that's already pre-packed up and ready to go and then I will just put their items within that box, print off the label using my Dymo printer and um, I'm ready to go, stick on the label and we're ready to head to the post office and post. But what I really wanted to show you guys as well today is that I am currently using the Royal Mail click and drop service that isn't the click and drop account app and it isn't the Royal Mail online business account. So this is really easy to use and the reason why I wanted to show you guys this is because if you are a new beginner to shipping and having a small business and sending out orders, this I feel like is probably one of your best go-to options. Click and drop online and also the drop and go service by the post office, which I have covered in a past video. If you check out some of my videos about the Black Friday time last year, you will see that I kind of mentioned it there. And if you head to my TikTok, oh so curly tick, you will see some content on drop and go there as well. I'm just going to head into my screen and show you guys how I do an order via the Royal Mail website. And then I'll show you physically how I pack an order. I am using Royal Mail send an item with click and drop. And this is a free website. You don't need to log in or anything. It's just simply on the Royal Mail website. Um, obviously this is a UK service. I'm sure the US or EU have similar services. But what you do is you go ahead and you can arrange a collection. It does have a extra fee. So I usually just go with send an item now. And here is where you're going to input your information from your Shopify order. Or maybe you've got an order from Squarespace or another e-commerce site. But whatever you've got an order and whatever you need to send will go into here. So first of all, you want to put in your item weight. We typically have a weight of around 125. So I'm just going to go with that. And then you have the option of choosing the parcel size. So this is typically what the person behind the post office desk would do, but you're doing it yourself. So um, I'm going to go ahead with small parcel. And as you can see, it says from £2.90. So don't get ahead of yourself thinking it's going to be £2.90 because typically it can be a bit more. So I'm going to do small parcel. 
and here it will come up with all of the services. But again, you want to make sure that you are putting the right amount of coverage. So if you are sending something that is a bit more pricey and you want to cover it for that amount, for example, if Royal Mail lose it in the mail, they'll actually reimburse you for the amount. So ours don't really go over 20, so I just stick with the 20. And then here are different services that you can choose to um, pay and go ahead and grab. We usually go with Royal Mail Second Class Signed For, and that is about 3 90 so I'm going to choose that service. Then I'm going to continue. And here is where you will type in their address. So you can type in a postcode and it will come up. So I'm going to go ahead and type in our postcode just to um, keep everything confidential. So next. Um, and then I'm going to actually put the same address here. And here it comes up with this collect it from me. So just make sure that you don't click with that. You go with drop it off unless you want a collection, but we're just gonna drop it off to the post office. And here you can actually untick this if you don't want your address on the label. So I we typically leave it on because we do have a business address, but if it was my personal address, I would just untick this. So make sure you have a look at that. Then you wanna add to your basket. And there you have it. So this is actually your label, your stamp. So you've got to and from, and then you can send another item. You also have the option of sending a similar item. So if you have loads of second class um, pack, small packages and you wanna use the same amount, just keep clicking send similar item and it will just allow you to change the addresses. And then next you wanna enter your email address tick the terms and um, confirm that you're sending the right weight and then you just pay and next it will generate some labels for you in a new pdf which just comes as another tab on your web on your web browser and then you just simply print as i've done in past videos you will see how i print off any royal mail labels it just goes straight to my Dymo printer and then I just print them out and stick it onto my parcels. So this is a new service that I've been using since I don't now have an account with Royal Mail. So it's quite easy. It's a bit longer if you have a lot of orders, um, but for your everyday just routine, you can use this, it's not too bad. Okay, so the angle is a bit crazy, but like I said, there's not much space. My bed is right behind the tripod right now. This is obviously my stock that comes directly from my manufacturer so they make up the bonnets the pillowcases and then they put it in this bag which can be recycled by the way that's good too so those will come in batch and what I do do if I have like a lot of orders coming in and I don't like someone asked me in a past video why don't you print out the I guess you could call it like the order confirmation and simply just because it's a waste of paper and labels I just find it not really necessary when I could just grab a pen and paper and just stick it on a post-it note or I can just do it as I go I know it probably takes a bit longer but for me I just feel like I don't need to waste another label so what I usually do is I will put the customer's name on it and then what they have to go in into the package so for this we have a kids bonnet and a adult bonnet and two purple pillowcases so sorry one purple pillowcase so I've already put the purple pillowcase in I'm going to put the bonnet in as well and the other bonnet and then what I do is I grab my, I guess you could say like your insert. So something that is like pretty that you wanna put inside. So for our satin items at the minute, we put them in a organza bag, which are these little things here, which are really handy. If you just wanna put your like accessories and stuff in something that's a bit more pretty and the customer can use it for future things that they may wanna put inside the bag, so. That's just something extra. I think moving forward, we're gonna create some nice, pretty packaging, like a box or something for the, the products to go in. But for now, as I'm bootstrapping, which means I'm 
grow my business without investment now at the moment presently so it means like any money I make I reinvest back into the business so what I will do is I will fold the bonnet like this and pop it into the organza bag and just like this so it's a bit more prettier than having it just in the plastic bag and then what we will do is fill up the box with peanuts and also put these in organza bags as well so i'm just going to do that and show you guys afterwards I get this huge bag of peanuts from Amazon. I will leave the link for these down below. Along with the link to any other supplies I use for my shipping, we get our boxes from Kite Packaging, our Dymo from Amazon, and the Dymo labels from Amazon as well. Once that is packed, I also put in a thank you card. So we used to get them printed, but again, it was just costing a lot and people just throw it away. So I just felt like it wasn't really necessary. So to save money, and especially if you're a small business owner and you're looking ways to just like cut corners and stuff, but still make things quite personable. What we do is we print off a thank you card onto our Dymo label. So it's no ink and we don't have to pay for the shipping or a graphic to be printed and made. So we simply print off this. I make this in Canva, which I'll show you guys in a second. And I am using a six by four inch design and that is the correct design for the six by four Dymo label printer. So obviously this size is what your label's gonna come out with when it prints. What I've done here is basically just wrote in black. So you wanna make sure everything is black. We did a black heart. Um, I turned my logos to black and I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. I simply just typed in Google convert color logo to black. So let's just see if this one works. See this one does, but then I actually had to go into um, it was like a free online photo shop and do it that way So I definitely would just go on YouTube Figure out how to turn a logo to all black because the grey isn't going to show up as dark as the rest of the label So we managed to get it in all black as you can see here and So I'd recommend if you do get a logo made always ask for it in different colour options as well So you can write anything you want in this label and print it out and then that's how I get my little sticker on our boxes Then we are ready to just enclose it and put the shipping label on the top of the box Enclose it with sellotape and then we're ready to pack and go to the post office. I hope you found this video really helpful. I thought I would just keep it really informative and quite short just for anyone who is searching for quick and easy information on how to pack and send an order in the UK. Let me know if you have any further questions or things you want me to show you in this way and subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next one.